this weekend just gone and this past few days just gone in the Premier League, we learned a lot about this season. It's arguably one of the best seasons so far in terms of the goals scored, despite all the controversy, despite everything that's gone on. VAR, refereeing decisions, PGMOL, it's still been exciting. Some of the games have been absolutely outstanding. We learned that the relegation battle is, is exciting. It's not as straightforward as we thought. Bournemouth have suddenly taken off. Everton aren't going to go down without a fight. And Luton as well, which we're going to discuss in a moment, really have shown that they could compete to stay in this league. Um, there's already been the first managerial sacking. Um, Paul Heckenbottom's gone now. He's been replaced by Chris Wilder at Sheffield. We learned that Man City can be got at by teams. Three draws in a row in the league leaves it wide open for who's going to win. And Liverpool showed incredible fundamentals to get back into that game against Fulham. But we're not talking about any of those teams today. We're instead going to be talking about Arsenal, a team that a lot of people have sort of considered a joke in terms of the Premier League title race last season, this season. They've shown that they are genuine contenders and in actuality you could look at them as the favourites in some regards. So last night Arsenal... <laughs> <laughs> they came back massively against Luton. Um, it was one of those crazy games where, yes, you expect to be beating them, but if you can win it in a manner that Arsenal did in that last, last minute, undeniably the last possible second, then it really sets you up in standing to compete for the league. It was one of those famous wins. It was like Liverpool beating Aston Villa in 2019 when we wanted to solidify our title challenge. Arsenal did that against Luton. They ground it out against tough opposition, not because of the quality of player, but because of the ground. They had the fan backing the Luton, uh, the Luton team. It was a bare pit to go into. It was what Goodison should have been when they played Man United a few weeks ago. And... Luton gave Arsenal an incredible game. It exposed a few weaknesses, but it also showed a lot of the positives from this Arsenal side, and we're going to discuss that today. But just before we get into that, we finally got to 100 subscribers, so thank you very much for that. The next aim now is a 1,000. It's a lot big stretch, but really cannot thank you guys enough for that. We're 102 now. Let's see if by the end of this video we can get 105. Um, but yeah, so we'll just sort something out for that, but really really appreciate it now arsenal luton it was it was one of those games where you just you you felt like arsenal were going to get a result there was just there was not really a doubt until the first goal for luton and it just seemed like there was something about it the atmosphere the environment the fans really got behind the team when that goal went in like literally three minutes after arsenal scored their first from martinelli it felt like it was going to be one of those nights. Um, and Arsenal, look, we need to just get the elephant in the room. Arsenal are in the title race. They they are. And arguably, you could say they've been the best team in the league this season. City have dropped off three draws in a row. They lost to Wolves. Um, the Liverpool game, they didn't look outstanding. The Chelsea game was amazing. But again, it still ended in a four-all draw. This season, they don't look right. Arsenal do. Arsenal look like they have solidified that back line. They've got the best defence in the league, joint with Newcastle and Liverpool. And they're scoring goals for fun in some games. Um, they just they look better than they did last season. Maybe not in terms of the excitement of the football to watch, but in terms of the way they actually play. They're a lot more conservative, but they're doing it with purpose. And that's something that will win them the league if they continue with it. Attacks win games, defences win leagues, and that's the mindset they've adopted this season. Now, the Luton game did expose weaknesses. Set pieces, Arsenal are poor. Uh, they don't have a lot of physicality, you feel like, in that, mid in that um, part of the pitch when there's a set piece coming in. Bar Saliba and Gabriel, there's no one really exceptional to defend from those situations, and it showed yesterday when they conceded from two. Now... If you're an Arsenal supporter, it's got to be worrying, but what they lack in that part of the pitch to make up for with mentality. And mentality is a big thing. Declan Rice with another late winner. We saw it against Man United, and now we've seen it against Luton. And this was as late as it could possibly be. They've got everything right at the moment. Their midfield's connecting really well. You've still got 
incredible depth in that team. Martinelli, Jesus, and Saka as your starting uh, attackers. Then you've got Enketia, who you can bring on. You've got Trossard, you can bring on. They've got a lot of youth players. The midfield is stacked. It's hard to find a weakness in Arsenal at the moment. And the match we play against them in a few weeks is going to be huge in the context of the league season. Um, there's no one who can really deny now that Arsenal are title contenders. Don't think there was ever a doubt of it, but there were people who were saying, you know, Arsenal, they'll plummet off. They did it last season. Bottle jobs, North London bottle jobs. I don't think this season they are. I really think this season they're going to go for it. Do I think they're going to win the league? No. I do still think it's going to be Man City to do it, but it won't be as clear a margin as people think it will be. City are going to hit another gear when we get into January, February time, like they always do. Arsenal, this time round, though, are more well-equipped and stacked to give them a better go. They've brought Rice in, who's been one of the signings of the season, even for 100 million, no one talks about the price tag because of how good he's been. He's solidified that defensive midfield zone and given them a lot more stability at the back, and hence the clean sheets, hence the least goals conceded. He's given them that extra bit of support in the midfield to help cover the defence. And then you've got the likes of Timber still to come back. Yes, he suffered an injury, but he was superb in the community shield before he got injured and in pre-season. Kai Havertz, there were people who wrote him off already. He's coming up good now. He scored in this game. He scored in the last game. Uh, no, sorry, not the last game, the one before. Uh, he was effective against Man City in the Community Shield and the league where they beat Man City. You've got fantastic players who aren't getting into the squad, like Zinchenko is still there, Eddie Nketiah is still there, Fabio Vieira. Maybe he's not looking great, but he's still an effective player. The only area that is a concern is the goalkeeper position, and that's because of Arteta's own making. But you take that out of the equation, it's a squad that could beat anyone on the day at the moment. That's just that's just my thoughts on it. They're an exceptional young team as well who are going to develop, and I think if they win a league this season, it could be a team that sticks together for a long time and goes on to potentially dominate the league when Pep goes. And that's a stretch. That is a big, big stretch, no doubt about it. But Arteta's learned from Pep himself, and you can see the way it's moulding together. Exciting, one-touch football, a plethora of depth to bring into the team. One player comes out, there's another player ready to go in who's just as good or just slightly beneath them. The way they play, they want to keep control of the ball, they want to try and minimise the amount of attempts at their goal. Fantastic goal scorers up front. It's very similar. And for Arsenal, this season is not now or never, but this is the best chance they're going to get because City this season look like they can be got at. And, you know, Arsenal proved it. <sighs> Chelsea proved it. Spurs proved it. Newcastle at points proved it. And so it really does need to be taken into consideration that Arsenal could win the league. It's conceivable. It's they're just. I'm not saying they're the best team ever. By far, they're not. But the magnitude of the players they've got and that win yesterday against Luton was huge mentality wise, and that's a big thing. To beat Luton, who yes, you know they're one of the worst teams to be promoted. We know this, but at their ground, when it's that compact together with the fans behind them, they get a couple goals. They really feel energized. To go two down in the last moments to then pull it back up to a 4-3 win with the last header of the game shows mentality and they're going for it this season. We saw it with the Bournemouth game last season. Ultimately, it didn't pay off. But this season, they've got a better squad overall, more depth. Everyone seems to have gelled a bit better. Yes, maybe going forward, they're not as exciting and dynamic, but we had it ourselves. And I'll always make the comparison to Liverpool. When we won the league, we were better defensively, but up front we weren't as ex exciting. Mo Salah was nowhere near his height. Uh, he was still world class, but he was, I think he got like 19 goals in the league that season. Mane was a bit more conservative. We were defensively more astute, though. We were able to keep the goals out of our net and get the winners. And that's important. That's what you need to win leagues. It's not all about scoring 100 goals, because if you score 100 but concede 50, you, odds are you've lost at least five or six games. It's about defensive stability, and they've built on that. They're building on that. They've got a squad that's capable of doing it. 
Do I think they're going to win the league? No. But they've put themselves in good standing to do it. And if if they do go on and win it somehow, this will be the result. This will be their Aston Villa for us. You know, this will be City's, not QPR, but something of that same sort of ilk. It's that big comeback, that last-minute winner that's huge. We've just had ours against Fulham the other day, so we could go. it could go in our favour. But Arsenal right now are four points ahead of us, and we have to get the win against Sheffield tonight in order to catch up with them. It's a big thing. Arsenal looks superb at the moment. It's yeah, it just it needs to be discussed because that that result against Luton is huge in the context of the season. The fans will be behind them fully at the moment. Thank you very much for watching. It's just a quick short video uh, just to go over last night's game because of how immense it was. Um, please do leave a like and subscribe. As I say, we've hit the 100 mark now, but we want to keep going and going. And make sure to check out the LFC Transfer Room daily for 7.30 streams. If you are a Liverpool supporter, even if you're not and you just want to see me on it, just feel free. Thank you very much for watching.